what's going on you guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are back with more halo infinite i apologize for not getting out the item shop review the day of the reset um but yes it's another week another new item shot and this item shop is disappointing um, i'm just gonna tell you guys right now i already looked through it and i'm not gonna be buying anything for now um one i don't have enough credits and two i'm just kind of disappointed with what they did so let's just take a look at it so here we have the lead belcher armor set kind of looks like the fallout uh armor i forgot what it's called but that's what it kind of reminds me of and um here we have the uh, helmet and this is for the eagle strike core and uh, you know what like it looks good the helmet looks nice i actually do like it i think it looks pretty pretty cool uh then we have a helmet attachment called the spelunker light as you can see right there and then we have a epic armor coating called the Hazard Zone, which honestly doesn't look too terrible. I like it. Oh, and I hate that prosthetic arm. That looks really ugly on this uh, on this core. Um, and then we have a legendary utility called Twin Teeth. As you can see right there, it's two knives. Looks good. Uh, then we have knee pads called Knee Shovels. Okay. Uh, then we have shoulder pads. And I actually do like these shoulder pads. I think they are... Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, I like the knife on them. Looks nice, and both shoulder pads have like knives. So technically, with this entire set, you get four knives, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we have a chest piece called Cloud Jumper, and doesn't look that bad. You know, I like it. Let me just try it on on my current Spartan. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. I don't even have any chest pieces for this core yet. Um, yeah, just gotta grind the uh, the event. Uh, then we have a visor called Citrin Wind, which okay looks okay. Honestly, it just looks so similar to other visors. Uh, it's crazy. Then we have an epic armor emblem called Ridgeback Cantonment Cantonment Patrol, and it's a dog, uh, which I think is kind of cool. You can see right there. Yeah, I like it. I like the. Uh, emblem so here's the problem this is 1700 um i don't even think this is worth 1700 i don't even think this is worth uh 1600 like the previous armor set from last week that was 1600 yeah if this was 1600 too like i don't think this is worth it i mean what is so different for this and then like other sets that were 1200 like what's the main difference like you would get a helmet attachment a, a coating and some utility and and knee pads with the other bundles that were 1200 and here you get the same thing, but it's 1600 okay? And I heard that somewhere they were saying, like, oh, it's because of the rarity. In this game, honestly, I don't think anyone gives a shit about, like, rarity. I mean, I don't give a damn if these are common or, or epic or legendary. I don't give a shit, honestly. So I don't think this should be bumping up the price by that much. Um, so, yeah, not, not good. I'm really unhappy with that. Uh, so for now, I really want it. I honestly really do. Uh, but 1700, I feel like it's just, eh, it's too much. Also, another YouTuber uh, that I watched did a review of this shop, and they said that we shouldn't buy this item shop this week, which I think I'm going to do just to basically send a message. If less people buy from this week's shop with the price increases, maybe we'll be able to send a message to 343 that it's like, come on, this is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're charging so much for crap that isn't even, like, worth it. And in a game, that's pretty shit, honestly. Um, but yeah, anyways, next we have a bundle called Point Bombardment. And I actually do kind of like this one. For some reason, it reminds me of, like, test dummies um, that you see in, like, uh, when you test cars and stuff for, like, airbag safety and stuff like that. I don't know, kind of reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, here we have it for the Eagle Strike uh core i wish it was for all other cores i mean come on if you're gonna do a price increase actually i think this stayed the same in terms of price yeah 700 i think this is the same but still i wish you guys would just add a coating for all the other cores that would be really nice uh, and then we have the vehicle coatings yeah, right here razorback rocket hog okay the wasp scorpion the uh, mongooses and the rocket goose. I keep forgetting what this is called. 
Um, and then we have a nameplate called Fireteam Apex. Which, you know, it's not terrible. I like the dog more, I won't lie. The dog's better in my opinion, but, you know, it's not bad. Uh, then we have this legendary kill effect. So here is the problem with this. It is 700. The previous kill effect that we got um, was 300. So why this is worth 700? Only because of the rarity. I mean, I think that's ridiculous. Like, seriously. I think this is the dumbest thing ever. Um, and I really wanted it because I've seen it in the, uh, in the customization tab. I saw this and I thought it was really cool. But it's 700. I mean, come on. I have enough to buy this if it was 300, like before. I mean, this is a kill effect. They obviously get kind of stale after some time. And I mean, it's a cool looking one, but it's just like, come on, 700 for this. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. And the next thing that wasn't raised in price was this charm bundle. Uh, so as you can see right here, the mechanized assault. It's some uh, hog with a minigun. So called wild hogs. You got an emblem right there and then you have a epic armor emblem called shadow scorpion and for some reason there's no charm for this i wish there was a charm but there isn't sadly but yeah so that is the quote-unquote daily bundle i mean we don't even have dailies but this is where the uh daily would be and then you have your boost and swap packs so this week is kind of sad um this is the only time i would kind of tell people just don't buy anything in the shop uh, mainly because of the price increases like if it was regular prices like I'm not against people spending money on like cosmetics that you know like cosmetics in a game like I don't it's your money you do what you want um, but this time I just kind of ask don't buy any of this and like this is just because it's just we need to lower the prices and 343 I don't know what in the world they are thinking I mean 1700 like we're 300 off from like the initial prices like 2000 was the initial prices like the initial price for these types of bundles and now we're 300 away and we were like we were saving 800 credits before you know so it's like i don't know what they're thinking so i highly highly urge you guys not to uh, not urge that's the, that's the wrong word but i highly highly suggest you guys do not buy anything in the shop because if they see that no one's buying this bullshit uh they'll see that they fucked up and you know, I don't know what they're getting greedy for. I mean, they're trying to squeeze every last penny out of, like, the two people that play this game. You know what I mean? So, it's like, they just, they can't do this, okay? And um, I'm not going to be buying anything in this week's shop. I've kind of made up my mind. And, um, yeah, kind of disappointing. Really disappointing, honestly. And I, I just wish it was better. But, yeah, guys. Anyways, that is it for this video. Um, once again, shitty shop. Sucks. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.